morning all my name is B Santosh Kumar assistant professor insta fair natural engineering my subject is computer architecture today i am discussing about assembly language instructions so there are so many types of instruction types are there data transfer instructions data operation instructions program control instructions and the second one is the data types third one is a addressing modes so what are the addressing modes means direct mode indirect mode register direct and indirect mode immediate mode implicit mode relative mode index mode and a base address mode and finally instruction forwards these are under assembly language instructions okay so we are dividing as a first one is a instruction type there are three types of instruction types data transfer data operation and program control after the data types so how many types of data so we will we will discuss each one later and addressing modes so what are the addressing modes means direct addressing mode indirect addressing mode register direct and indirect mode immediate mode implicit mode relative mode index mode and base address mode and instruction forwards first one is a instruction type assembly language instructions are grouped together based on the operations they perform data transfer instructions data operation instructions program control instructions so we discussed here data transfer data operation program control so instruction type we are giving instructions to the computer suppose i wrote one program how it is means it is converting to the machine so how we are giving the machine language means through instructions only through instructions we will give the instruction to the machine language okay so how we are giving the instructions means instruction language are grouped together data transfer instruction data operation programming control so suppose i give one instruction so that instruction is nothing but a maybe a data transfer or maybe a data operation or maybe a program control so if you want to data transfer you can give one type of instruction if you want to give the data operation you have to give one type of instruction and you have to go for the program control instruction we have to give the one type of instruction so depends on your type of instruction the operation will be performed okay so type of instruction are you giving for the data transfer or are you giving for data operation or are you giving for program control any of this one you have to give proper instruction okay so it will be depend on your instruction it will be process data transfer data operation or program control so so instructions are for machine language instructions are for machine language so we, for which purpose i am giving instructions means data transfer data operation and for execution or or program control so these are uh, these are all depend on your type of instruction so data transfer instruction these instructions performs one of the following transfers load the data from memory into the microprocessor these instructions copy data from memory into your microprocessor register store the data from the microprocessor into the memory this is similar to the load data expected data is copied in the opposite direction from your microprocessor register to memory move data within the microprocessor these instructions copy from one microprocessor register to another so data transfer registers mm -hmm. so how we are transferring the data through the registers with the help of instruction so these instructions perform one of the following instructions load the data from memory into the microprocessors these instructions copy the data from memory into your microprocessor store the data from the microprocessor into the memory this is the similar to the load data expect data is copied in the opposite direction from a microprocessor register move the data within a microprocessor these instructions copy from one microprocessor register to another okay one to another move store or load okay for loading for storing for moving data so these are all for using the instructions only with the help of instructions only i will we will operate this one okay 
input data to the microprocessor. In computer system, a microprocessor may need to obtain data from an external device. For example, in a microwave oven controller, the microprocessor must know which key was paused on the keypad in order to perform the correct function. The microprocessor inputs data from the input device. The keypad is the case into one of the each register and the output of the microprocessor. The microprocessor copies the data from one of its register to an output device such as the digital display of the microwave oven. Okay. So, how microprocessor is operating through the input data to the microprocessor or output data to the microprocessor. So, in computer system, a microprocessor may need to obtain data from an external device. For example, in a microwave oven controller, the microprocessor must know which key was passed on the keypad in order to perform the correct function for the functioning for the operation for the functioning and the operation i can use the input data to the microprocessor okay the microprocessor input data from the input device keypad into this into its register output data from the microprocessor means the microprocessor copies data from its register to an output device such as the digital display of the microwave oven. So, these data operations instructions are unlike data transfer instruction, data operation and modify the data values. Okay. So, data operations how we are using means for the data transfer or for the data operation. Data transfer means one microprocessor to another one or data operation means you have to operating. So, addition, subtractions or any of that one. Through the instruction only it is possible. Okay. But we are operating the data operations, not the functionality. They typically perform some operations using one or two data values, operands and store the value. Arithmetic operation and subtract, multiply, divide and decrement and clear logical instructions and or XR and complement shift instructions are shift left and shift right. Suppose I want to go for the, <coughs> I want to go for the addition of two numbers. Addition of two numbers. So first one I am going for the move ax comma bx. Add ax comma bx. That means ax is one register. Bx is a one register. Okay. But what is means add is there? It is an operand. So I am taking the add subtraction multiplication division so if i am going for the subtraction then i will go for the sub i am going for the division div and go for the multiplication mul okay so which arithmetic operation you are doing okay depends on your instruction we can understand suppose here sub is there okay it is one instruction okay it is one instruction so what is instruction sub that means subtraction Mul multiplication, div, div, division. So, depends of your instruction type, you can understand which operation is going on. Okay, that is the arithmetic operation. And the logical operations means logical through the logic, it's only possible. And or x or like this. Suppose I, I want to go for the A and B. Okay, so like this. See so if I'm going for the okay, it, it is another. So, what are the different logic gates I'm using for this one? Okay, if I'm going for the AND or XR like this. Okay, so which one you need to, which, oper which operation you have to go. Okay, it is the C, output C. Okay, so which type of logic gate I'm doing. So, suppose I'm going for the NOT gate. Okay, A means I'm getting the A bar like this. Okay, so it is a NOT gate, AND gate, OR gate. Which type of uh, gates you are using for logical instructions. So, it depends on your instruction of AND means AND gate or OR gate. XR complement means not get. So shift instruction means shift left. So one register R12, R2, R, R22, R1. Shift right, shift left, like this. So program control instructions are the machine code that are used by machine or in assembly language by user to command the processor act accordingly. These instructions are various types, types of program control instructions. There are different types of program control instructions. Compare instruction. So, <coughs> program control instructions. We have to control means comparing or de incrementing or decrementing or which one is the higher value, lower value. So, these are the programming control instructions. 
so are the machine code that are used by machine or in assembly language by user to command the processor act accordingly these instructions are of various types types of programming control compare instruction compare instruction and uh, is it specified for a similar to a subtract instruction except the result is not stored in anywhere but flags are set to the according to the results okay and uh, unconditional branch instruction here first one is a compare instruction compare means a less than b or a greater than b or a equal to b that is a comparison next uh, unconditional branch instruction means there is no condition for operation okay suppose i am going for the arithmetic operation logical operation there is no condition no need of any conditions okay that is a unconditional it causes an unconditional change of execution in sequence to a new equation okay jump l2 move r3 comma r1 move r3 r1 go to l2 so r1 go to l2 it is going r1 to l2 is there any condition no there is if condition no is there any while condition there, there is no conditions are there if for there is no conditions are there so conditional branch means we have to give some condition when when a greater than b when a less than b when a equal to b then for this only we have to conditions are there so a conditional branch instruction is used to examine the values stored in the condition code register to determine whether the specific condition exist and to branch or it, if it's does okay so assembly code is nothing but a R1 comma R2 L1 compile allocation R1 for X and R2 for Y high level code is if X is equal to Y and go to L1 now. so if if means it is condition or not yes it is a condition what is means go to L1 if X double equal to Y then only go to L2 here is there any condition no move R3 R1 go to L2 there is no condition there is no if condition there is no if there is no Y like this etc okay so it is a conditional branch instruction used to examine the values stored in the condition code registered to determine whether the specific condition exists and to branch if its assembly code is the r1 r2 and l1 compiler allocations are r1 for x and r2 for y and high level languages are f double equal to y go to l1 now. and the subroutines are there what are the subroutines a subroutine is a program fragment that lives in user space performs a will defined task it is invoked by another user program and returns control to the calling program when finishing okay subroutine function means call function written like this okay i'm calling one 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 function or one register or i'm um, i'm returning to the condition one uh, one register a subroutine is a program fragment that lives in a user space performs a will defined task it is invoked by another user program and returns control to the calling program when finishing it okay halting instruction means we have to stay some time or halt means stay some time okay we have to wait condition wait or halt envelope is a no no operation envelope means no operation it causes no change in the process state then the advancement of program counter it can be used for synchronizing the timing no means no instruction halt means it brings the processor to an orderly halt and remaining in ideal state until restarted by interrupt trace reset and external actions halt means wait condition so what is the use of this one means it brings processor to an orderly halt remaining in an ideal state until restarted by interrupt trace reset or external actions are there okay next one is a interrupt instructions interrupt is a, a mechanism by which an input output or an instruction can suspend the normal execution of processors and get itself serviced reset condition if the reset processor means this may include any or all setting register to an initial value or setting proper count to standard starting location trap it is a non maskable edge and level triggered interrupt trap has the highest priority and a vectored interrupt intr means interrupt it level triggered and maskable interrupt has lowest priority and it can be disabled by resetting the processor so interrupt instructions means when multiple programs are occurred then i am going for the uh, uh, instruction okay reset when means i have to stop your program and i will go for the new program okay so i want to, i want to stop the one operation i want to go for the new operation means i will go for the reset means that program is uh, ended then then move uh, next to operation will be start 
So it is a mechanism of input output to the instruction and it will be suspended normal instruction processor and get itself surfaced. Suspended means temporarily it will be closed or it will be stopped or it will be waiting condition. Okay. Next priority will go to the another operation or another program. Okay. That is the interrupt instruction means multiple operations are there. The reset is the reset the processor. Reset means restarting or it will go for the next operation. And this may include the setting register initial value or setting the counter standard starting location. Trap is a non maskable edge and level triggered interrupt. Trap has the highest priority to vectored interrupt. Okay, trap means we have to go for the one operation to another operation. Trap and interrupt INTR is there if I am going for the interrupt means I will go for the I am going for the next operation. Okay, it is a high a level triggered and maskable interrupt and the lowest priority can be disturbed by the resetting of the priority. When the interrupt is enabled, then you will go for the priority. The, if interrupt is equal to 0 means there is no priority. And what are the data types are there? Numeric data. How many types of numeric data is integer and floating? Boolean values, character data, ASCII like this. Okay, numeric data. So numeric means numbers. Integer. 1. 126, 240, 255, 312, like this. Floating point means 126.12, 312.56, like this. Okay, 563. So, Boolean values means A, B, C, whole bar plus A bar into B, C plus A into B bar, C bar, like this. Okay, otherwise, if I go for the A, B, C bar. Okay, like this are called Boolean expressions. Okay, next character character data means ASCII, Unicode, etc. These are the character data. Okay, so addressing modes. What are the addressing modes? When your microprocessor access memory to read or write data, it should specify memory address it needs to access. And assembly language instruction may use some or all the addressing modes to generate this address. Okay, so what are the addressing modes means? When I am going for the microprocessor, to access the memory to read or write read or write if read bar means write is enabled if write bar means read is enabled to should specify the memory address to needs and assembly language instruction may use some or all the uh, all the addressing modes to generate this address and addressing modes direct mode in this mode the instruction includes a memory address the cp access that location in memory example ldsc file cp reads the data from memory location file and stores the data into the cpu indirect mode means address specify the instruction not the address of the operand it is address of the memory location that contain the address of the operand so addressing modes are two types direct addressing and direct mode addressing means suppose Suppose I am taking one memory. In this mode, the instruction include memory address. Okay. So what is the memory address of this one? Okay. Suppose I am taking this memory address is some 56. Or in the binary, I am taking 1101. Example I am taking. So this CP access the location in the memory. Exact what is the location of this memory? Okay. It is finding out the location. Indent mode means so LDSC file means uh, in the uh, in that specific address the value is five. Indirect means the address specified in the instruction in the in the instruction set is not the address of the operand. It is address of the memory location that contains the address of the operand. So in this memory there are sub memories are there. In this sub what are the sub memories there? Okay, in that memory, in that memory, what is the sub memory? In that memory, in that memory live means it is a direct memory it is a in that memory which value there are so many are there in the memories okay in that what is that one so indirectly we are specifying register direct and indirect indirect mode register modes work the same as direct and indirect mode except they do not specify a memory address instead they specify a register examples ldsc or it is a registered director like this i am taking as a director 
when i'm going at the special characters it is a indirect mode like this i am going at the register indirect addressing mode immediate mode it is the different of uh, difference of uh, direct and indirect mode it is a immediate mode in this immediate mode the operand specified is not an address it is a actual data to be used ldic at 5 moves the data value 5 into the accumulator okay next one is a implicit mode implicit mode does not implicitly specify an operand the instruction implicitly specify the operand because it always applies to a specific register okay clear the screen or clear the accumulator that is the clac clear accumulator and relative mode in this mode the operand supplies the offset not the actual address and the content of the cpu program code register to generate the required okay program counter pc pc plus 1 pc plus 2 like this okay suppose a equal to suppose i am giving a equal to 5 so i have to count a equal to 1 what about a equal to 2 a equal to 3 a equal to 4 then only a equal to 5 so program counter is in a equal to 1 program counter pc plus 1 equal to 2 next program counter pc plus 2 pc plus 3 pc plus 4 like this so it is located in a memory location 10 and it takes up to two memory locations the next instruction is located to well the instruction reads the data from 10 plus 5 equal to 17 the store in the accumulator okay so clear accumulator means i am clearing the uh, output of the accumulator and going for the next accumulator value next index mode index mode works like relative mode except the address and it is supplied by the instruction is added to the content of in at and index then the register instead of the program counter the index register contains the value is 10 but when i going for the special character means it is the indirect address in mode the instruction reads the data from the location 5 plus 10 equal to 15 but it is a indirect or direct it depends on your index depends on your symbol we have to find out the direct or indirect so index mode works like relative mode except the address supplied by the instruction is added to the content of an index register instead of the program counter okay i am not using program counter instead of program counter i am using index mode next one is a base address mode base address mode works exactly the same as index mode except the index register is replaced by a base address register if the base address register contain the value is 10 okay i am taking the dollar symbol the instructions read from the location of 5 plus 10 equal to 15 okay how many values are there there are two locations are there in the first location 5 another location is 10 finally i am getting the 15 it is stored in another location okay it is stored in the accumulator okay so base address mode works exactly the same as in index mode except the index register is replaced by a base address register and the base register contains the value of 10 the instruction read in the one in the one, one location is 5 and the another location is 10 totally 15 will be stored in the accumulator so instruction formats a computer performs a task based on the instruction provided instruction in computer comprises groups of called fields these field contain different information as per computers everything is in zero and one each field has different significance based on which cpu decides that to perform the most common fields are operation field address field and mode field so these are about the instruction formats how the instructions are formatted to the cpu okay cpu decides what we can perform operation field means for the operation field for the operation how the instructions are there it specifies the operation to be performed like addition okay so add is it operation or not yes it is operation what is operation addition operation next i am going for the sub is it operation yes what is operation subtraction next address field which contains the location of the operand that is register or memory location okay means here i am taking so is it address location s yes. mode field which specifies how operand is to be founded instruction formats zero operand one operand two operand and three operand instructions zero operand means the, uh, there is no operations there is no operands are using no nop means no operation halt means wait condition one operand means loading add, add store suppose i am going for the add c add a comma b 
So this A comma B, I am storing in one accumulator. Okay. So add accumulator. Add accumulator. That means add C. So add C means what is the C value? C equal to A plus B. So A plus B result value is stored in the accumulator and it is stored in A or in stored in C. So two operand means addition of two numbers. Minimum I need to add two numbers. Add A comma C or add A comma B. Move A comma B. Three operands mean three operations means I have to add three values. A comma B comma C. Add A comma B comma C like this. So these are the assembly language instructions and uh, we discussed here there are so many types of operations are there so first we discussed instruction type data type addressing mode and instruction format in that instruction type data transfer data operation and program control okay in the data transfer what is that means load the data store the data and move the data and these are about the data transfer and uh, it is the inter data types. Well, how many data types means? Numerical data, Boolean value, character data. And uh, addressing modes means direct addressing mode, indirect addressing mode, and register direct indirect, indirect mode, immediate mode, and implicit mode. So index mode, base address mode. These are the addressing modes. And what are the instruction formats are there? Operation, address, or mode. And instruction formats are zero operand, one operand, Two operand and three operand. These are about the assembly language instructions. Okay, thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.